I don't, I, I want the pictures in the cloud. I mean, that's why I'm using Adobe CC or Lightroom CC, but I don't want any pictures to not be here ever. So it will keep all images locally. And in fact, I wonder, I'm gonna try this. If I turn that on, yeah, if I turn that on, it says target available disk space, that slider goes away. It will use up to 100%. So you can't, you'd think that this would be up here. Strange UI choice. But anyway, um, that is, that makes sense, right? If I say store a copy of all originals locally, then I can't possibly decide how much space I'm going to use because how much space I'm going to use is be, going to be determined by how many photos I import. That's it. So good to know. So if you want to keep your pictures locally, you and they're still going to go to the cloud, but you want to make sure that they're always local, you click that checkbox and there you go. And I would advise this. I would advise this on your primary system. So like for me, and I know for a lot of users, you've got a desktop and a laptop. Well, my desktop system, that needs to have all my pictures because they are, well, now they're going to be, well, whatever I put in here is backing up to Adobe's Creative Cloud, but I also want my own backup. I want my own local backup. I want my own um, Backblaze backup or whatever I'm using. I don't want to just trust in one backup. And this is something that's worth mentioning, right? This is worth bringing up. There's a saying in the industry that if a file doesn't exist in three places, it doesn't exist, right? So you have to have your local copy, your, your local original, let's call it that, a local backup. That way, if your original goes away or something happens to it or your hard drive crashes or whatever, you have a local backup that you can restore from quickly. Because let's face it, no one wants to download five terabytes of backup from any online service. But then you need a third backup, and the third backup has to be off-site because that first backup is there, that, well, file number two, that first backup is there so that if your hard drive crashes. However, that first backup, second copy, doesn't do you any good if someone breaks in and steals all your stuff, if uh, your studio or your home, whatever, burns to the ground, right? Nothing's going to save you then. So you want another copy that is off-site. In the old days, we did, uh, or if you have massive amounts of storage, we talk about having a third back or a second backup, third copy on a physical hard drive that gets moved to another location. Moving it to your next door neighbor's house is fine if your house gets robbed. Maybe not so good if the house gets burned down. Certainly no good if there's a massive flood and everything gets wiped out in the neighborhood. So you want that backup to be away from you, far away from you preferably, um, in another city or state or country or even better in multiple locations. And that's where the cloud stuff comes in, right? You got these big old cloud servers like Backblaze, massive data centers in California with their own redundant backups and all seismically, all that good stuff, way better than what you have at home, guaranteed. So um, so there's that, right? So just kind of going off, off the rails here on backup, but it's super, super important to make sure that you have those copies. So you still want to have that local backup. I want to have a local backup. So I want my main system to have all of my photos stored on it so that they can be backed up locally. And then of course, I still want them to go to the cloud, but I want that local backup in there. All right, Florian says, so now you gave me a solution by changing location of duplicating or duplicating, okay, sorry, I don't understand. Florian says, okay, so now you gave me the solution by changing location or duplicating it on a different site. Sorry, Florian, I don't quite follow. If you want to rephrase that, I will address it, but I'm not following you. Okay, so that is, I think everything we want to talk about it here, restore copy of all, yep, that's it. Okay, that's everything in here. All right, let's cancel out of this and let's move on to uh, importing. All right, it's time to import. Okay, so import is from the little plus button up here in the top left corner. It says add photos. If I click on it right now, it just opens up the open dialog, which is what we did last week. You can just uh, you know, pick any pictures from here. However, let me cancel that. I'm going to take an SD card and pop that guy into there. Pop that in. And actually, you want to know. Is it going to automatically pop open an import dialog? I guess not. Okay, some apps will automatically do that. This one apparently doesn't. But now if I click on the plus, the plus, if I click on that, now I get a new thing that comes up. I've got browse, which is what automatically came up before. Right, that's what automatically came up before. But I also have my, de my device. There it is, connect devices, no name. Well, that's the name of my SD card, it's no name. Open that up and it brings me into a standard import type dialog where from here we have all kinds of, well, not all kinds of choices, we have some choices. So I can, first of all, select all, I can click the select all, and that will be on by default. I think it wasn't because I had already inserted this card earlier. But if I click on select all, it selects all the pictures, click it, again, it turns it off. I can go in here and individually select images that I want. Shortcut, by the way, is the space bar. So if I'm going through, I go, I want that one, and I'm using the arrows now, and I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, you can do that. If you change your mind, you can quickly select and deselect all again. Whatever. You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.